Hi, I'm Neville Liv, and welcome to Living with AI. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a disruptive and quickly evolving technology. My goal is to reach the people who this will affect the most, Gen Z and Gen Alpha. I'm right on the cusp, the so-called Gen Alphas, so I can identify with both. I want to inform and give a realistic view of AI while also showing you how we can use it to become more creative and productive. A lot of people are talking about the dark side of AI, and I want to be your guide to the light side. Recently, there's been a lot of achievements in AI, such as the generated art and the chatbot from a company called OpenAI. For those who have or haven't heard about it, the main point is that AI will change everything in our lives. Today, I want to focus on ChatGPT by OpenAI. ChatGPT is a chatbot where you can ask a question and it often provides a frighteningly detailed response. You might just be thinking, isn't that a really advanced Google? Well, it's a little more than that. Instead of just retrieving jokes, songs, poems, code, games, and more like Google does, ChatGPT actually creates them. Now we're just gonna dive in and start using the chatbot. This one's a little bit silly. We're going to do a Shakespeare sonnet about Joey Tribbiani from Friends Eating Pizza. Oh Joey, Prince of Pasta, how, doth, how thou doth devour thy favorite dish with gusto and delight. It's making a whole thing. I think they nailed down the Shakespeare part pretty well. Write a screenplay scene of Angelica Schuyler from Hamilton and Peggy Carter from Marvel fighting over Captain America's part. So it's writing it now. It has the fade in interior Avengers headquarters day. And so it's setting it up. Angelica Schuyler and Peggy Carter stand face to face, their eyes locked in a fierce stare down. For, I think this is impressive. For Captain America, they said stealing Steve. So they have background information. And they're just doing, Peggy, you may have been his first love. They're taking information from like Marvel. I'm going to ask it to write me a code for a reactive website that rents school buses. So I'm just gonna type that in. So right now it's using Python and Flask. You can see that it has like name, request form, date, calculate the cost of rental. It has like number of buses, 100, assuming it's bus cost, 100. It's very thorough. They're writing like a ton of code and I think it's really cool how they do that. For the last prompt, we're gonna do an Olivia Rodrigo song about banana ice cream and skateboarding. So they have it labeled with verses and they have the chorus, different things. It, it, you can see a bit of repetition in it. I don't need no fancy car. I'm happy with my skate and board. I'll hit the ramps and grind the rails. I'll do flips and spin, I'll never fail. Banana ice cream in my hand, feeling like I'm on top of the world. So it, it's combining both. And I think that was a pretty good snapshot of what it's capable of, but I would definitely recommend getting onto ChatGPT yourself and playing around with it because it is the future. Even though this is a huge advancement, it still has its limitations. For example, it can only give information up to 2021, so you can't get anything like the latest news. And a lot of the information that it does give is just flat out incorrect. Since this chatbot can create essays of virtually anything in an instant, you can see this becoming the tool for cheating. All you have to do is type in a prompt, and with a little editing, you have a paper to turn in. Although this seems like it would be a huge concern to teachers in schools, some don't feel that's the case. According to this Business Insider article, Professor Selber, who works at Penn State University, says that ChatGPT will just be another resource like Wikipedia that students might turn to. In fact, professors like Dr. Hendrickson think that ChatGPT may create more fairness by actually helping students who don't speak English as their first language. Also, ChatGPT is the end of writer's block. Type in a prompt asking for ideas and it will give you so much inspiration. Is this good or bad? Stay tuned for another video where I talk all about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more info about living with AI.